Right, this looks like an incorporation. And for an incorporation, the basic idea is that we need to be aware of how much of the active ingredient we have and how much total. Uh, so what does that mean? It means initially, initial amount of active in the 40 grams first, plus an added amount of salicylic acid, which we don't know, because we often call that mix. That together gives the, the total of active ingredients. And then we have what we call the total, which means what we start with, which is 40 grams, and that's going to increase in weight by however much salicylic acid we add. So it always looks like that. And then the concentration is 10%. So the fraction I've just drawn, written, is equivalent to a fraction of, of 10%, which means 10 grams in 100 grams. And that's the a version of the incorporation formula that's very common and that we kind of have to memorize. Um, so the only problem here is the initial. We need to know how do we find that initial. Well, the initial amount of salicylic acid in the 40 grams, it says it is 2.5% weight weight. And this formula is for weight weight when it's weight on top and weight on the bottom of the fractions. So 2.5 grams in 100 grams. I don't need to elaborate the health calculator, so I'll divide by 10. That's 0.25 in 10 grams, which means it's 1 gram in 40 grams. So now I know what the initial amount of salicylic acid is in that 40 grams. So I'm ready now to say 1 gram of salicylic acid plus an unknown amount. And because I'm making a formula, I actually won't use the units because all the units are grams, so I'm happy to carry on. Then 40 gram is the weight of the salt ointment, but then it, it will increase when we add some salicylic acid. And that will be equivalent to 10 grams of active over 100 grams of total. And that's what we're working with now. This sort of formula, the standard approach is whatever's on the bottom is multiplied by the top on the opposite side. So 100 times all of that, and then 40 plus x times by 10. And what does that look like? It's 100 times by 1 plus x equals 10 times by 40 plus x. Multiply out the brackets, and you get 100 plus 100x equals 400 plus 10x. So all the x's on the same side is 100x minus 10x equals 400 minus 100. So 90x equals 300. And then you can play around with the algebra or you can jump straight to your calculator and do 300 divided by 90 is 3.33. Depending how accurate it needs to be, you could keep keep doing threes, and that seems to be the end of it.